You're always louder for some reason. Yeah, well, I'm, I don't, I just have a relatively louder voice since I joined the Navy. Okay. I, I just mean I used to be a kind of a soft-spoken guy, and then I joined the Navy, and I just have a louder voice since. Plus, you, you just, I don't makes know. you manly. More manly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, and let's, Three, two, let's one. start. All right, so we should be live. Uh, welcome to the ECG podcast. My name is Taz, Legend X Taz. You can follow me on Twitter at Legend X Taz, um, and I'll make sure I uh, update the links in the description to everyone's respective channels. Uh, as always, uh, my uh, co-host, Acidic Blitz, at Acidic Gamers. Justin, would you like to say hi? I would like to say hi. Hello. Go for it. Say say hi a little bit more. And just encourage, no, I said hello. I encourage the people. Fine, don't. Hello, miss. everyone. Yeah, great. Good job. <laughs> you're, such a, you're such a boss. It's so attitude. amazing. I know, Okay, right? and then uh, for the first time ever on episode two of the ECG podcast, we have a guest today, our first guest ever, and we're very honored to have him. Uh, Brad, the Gaming Lemon, uh, would you like to say hi? Hello. Thanks for having me on the uh, on the podcast, Lady Next Has. Yeah, I think it's, uh, it's pretty awesome to have you here, man. Um, nice. And you are, yeah, you are the very first guest we have ever ever had and well obviously episode two it's kind of <laughs> <it's, laughs> slim pickings <laughs> <laughs> um yeah we're excited to have you um everybody as you can see we uh what you're gonna see on screen is you're gonna have two things to look at you're gonna have live gameplay throughout the entire uh podcast that you can look at and watch whatever you uh, want it's um what we're gonna be having them here is a mixture of uh, mini games with uh, Minecraft, uh, with even a little bit of Call of Duty mixed in there. Uh, we've uh, we recorded a bunch of uh, Minecraft, uh, Hunger Games, Spleef, uh, Super Craft Bros, and like as I said, there's a, a little bit of uh, Call of Duty mixed in there, and it'll just be an hours worth of gameplay. They can w- kind of have a little bit of eye candy while we uh, talk about whatever. And then also, as you'll see to the left, you'll see that the tweets will flow in um, as you guys are watching. So if you want to tweet the show, uh, ask a, ask us a question or give your opinions on the topics that we have, you can uh, tweet. All you got to do is put the hashtag ECG Podcast in your tweet, and it will roll live through. I do warn you, though, that uh, as it normally occurs, when you tweet at a live stream, there is always a delay. So please expect a delay of pro- anywhere from three, Three thirty seconds to it depends on your internet connection. It could get up to two minutes sometimes. So I do forewarn you with that. Okay, I am up. And also, which is another extra thing is obviously if you guys watch the ECG podcast number one, you can tell that this uh, like the background to this podcast is way different. So shout out to Jeff over at Dark Knight Gaming who made this one, updated it, made it look a lot better. Yep. So I, yeah. I am updating my uh, the. Uh, what do you call it? The description. description. The description right now. I'm gonna p- put Jeff in there. I, that, I knew I'd, I knew I'd forget something, um, but we'll update that. So, um, Justin, we want to tell him what we're gonna be talking about. We will be talking about the new Xbox One, the new XP, or not the new Xbox PS4, the new PS4, and you know, title up the 12 and more. And more. Okay. As says in the description. Okay. Or well, the title, rather. Well, since uh, Brad is the guest, uh, Brad is there. Uh, Brad, is there anything you'd like to touch on first? Um, I'll just give you the honors of kind of picking our what we talk about first. Um. Pressure. <laughs> hmm. Put me on the spot. I think uh, maybe we should first talk about T12, seeing it's the biggest thing in the community talking about right now. Okay. Um. And well, since 4J released that first screenshot, everyone's been getting hyped about it, haven't they? Okay, I can yes, even, yes. I can even put it in there too. Um, so uh, okay, I guess I'll start off and I'll kind of ask questions. Also, this is this is a good uh, time to ask questions. If you guys want to tweet in, the, tweet at the stream. If you have questions about Title Up to Twelve, uh, like specifically what you guys want us to talk about, or your kind of thoughts about it, and we'll read them as we go along. But uh, Title Up to Twelve for me, um, I actually kind of feel like it's we're getting in this like groove of um, like most people are like. Uh, Oh my God! It's the best update ever, and in a, in a sense it is, because obviously the game just keeps getting better with every update. But actually, besides like some things, like you stick to, like I'm really excited about Redstone Lamps, but like I don't know, I'm in the mo- I'm, I just get to that point where I'm like, yeah, it's another update. I don't. Um, I guess I'm less excited nowadays. I don't know. I guess maybe because I don't think this update's like some like game changing update like the adventure update was or like adding pistons mm. and redstones mechanicals like that i guess yeah. it's kind of my i don't know how do you feel either one of you 
Yeah, I can relate to that. Like, um, I, I, I felt that TU8, was it TU8, the adventure update? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. One point, yeah, one point number two. One yeah, number I, 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 th I thought that was the uh, the peak of, like, the hype of all the updates. Um, I think after the, uh, was it T, T, TU10? Yeah, it was TU10. Um, I just kind of lost interest apart from horses. That's the only thing I want in the future updates. But obviously, <laughs> we're not going to get that for a while, aren't we? That's going to be quite <laughs> some time away. Xbox One type stuff. <laughs> yeah, it is. Um, Justin, I mean, I, obviously, I feel the the same way. I mean, I just don't want to get excited for it because what if it's just not the best update ever? I don't want to get all you know my hopes up for them to be shattered. <laughs> I I will I will say the, the um the one thing I'm excited to see well I, well I'm excited more to see the redstone lamps just because I'm more of a redstone guy at like my core. That's just kind of what I find mo more interesting. But um, I don't know. I, I know that there's a there all, there seems to be a lot of like build teams or whatever people want to call themselves. There just there seems to be a lot of builders out there. I, I I thought when we got creative mode we'd see this like rush of maps and it actually didn't feel like we got that rush of maps. I thought it took a while for people maybe more people got into Minecraft Xbox. I'm not sure. But it feels like all of a sudden now we're just getting map after map after map after sweet cool thing after cool thing. Even with those uh, those roller coasters. Um, yeah, yeah. By I, I forget the guy's name. Um, there is like, like yep. yeah. yeah. I mean that that <laughs> that's just epic. And then you start adding in uh, stuff like upside down stairs and uh, upside down half slabs, and just little things like that can really like aesthetically change the way you can build a Minecraft. So that's exactly. kind of, that's kind of cool. Yeah, I wow. still remember the first adventure map that was made for Minecraft Xbox, or like the one that you could actually download and put onto your hard drive. That was terrible <laughs> compared was, to what we have yeah. now. Wasn't it called um, Shipwrecked? Yeah, I, was, yeah, I like played that. that. Yeah. It was, I hated it. I played it and it was so horrible. I mean, I was if like, you compare that... Yeah, exactly. If you compare that to the maps we have now, it's just growing so much within such a short time. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. It would seem. Um, I remember Brad just loved that um, uh, Great Pyramid. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. That map made me go crazy. Oh, uh, on, on that note, I um I, some most people don't know it because I made it uh like when I didn't have a lot of subs. Oh my subs. god, the forbidden fruit. Dude, I made oh my god. I made this adventure rap called the forbidden fruit, and a p part parts of it were really cool. Um, I made a lot of it with uh, Wildfire Ben when we had just met each other, and uh, a friend Aiden Lee Walker and a few other people. But um, it it was right after the sprint update. Actually, I think we started building it before the sprint update, and I knew we were going to get sprinting, so I, like, overthought what sprinting was going to make you be able to do in parkour-wise, and I'm putting, like, 4-1 jumps, 5-0 jumps, like, everywhere, and it made the map pretty unplayable. Uh, completable, but Justin gave up, and... <laughs> I beat it. Oh, you did? Yeah, I just I, hated I, life. Oh, I didn't even know you... Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, but I thought it had some cool stuff. Like, I put in, like, this currency system. But anyway, no, yeah, but that was cool. back to what you are saying, not to get on a too big of a tangent. The, um, yeah, maps have gone so far. Even, like, Hunger Games maps, just with oh, yeah, different dude. types of builders. Jeez. I played this one map yesterday. I can't remember what it's called. Um, cause, and I just got, like, an invite from Choo Choo, and uh, they didn't really explain what the map was. But um, what what's that? Um, it's, it's that building in... Um, Washington with that giant like half circle thing in Washington. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> uh, Washington uh, D.C. with that giant half circle, um, like a monument. Yeah, there's well, there's a couple that are kind of circular. It, it yeah. was, it, it was kind of it... like it was a broken down city in America. I know that much, but it looked absolutely incredible. It looked like something that was created on PC, and I didn't even know about it. Oh, weird. Wow. I, I awesome. Hadn't... Yeah. Well, there's a yeah, because there's a bunch of monuments in DC. There's the, the Vietnam Time Memorial, room. which is more of just a, like a a wall with people's names on it. The World War II monument is well, it's, it's a whole circle, but there's base. It's two separate sections that have a half circle on each side. But I don't know. That's, I think a monument. Yeah. Either way, but it, yeah, it was, it was like a building. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't. But, know. Um, that sounds bad because we live in America, but. And I've been there several times because I have family there. I don't. Yeah, my. Uh, I've never been there anyway, so I guess I wouldn't really know. My uh, my dad, or not my dad, my goddad, my uncle worked at the White House, and then. Oh, fancy. Uh, my aunt works at the Botanical Gardens, which is right next to the Capitol, well, uh, uh, Congress. 
Getting off topic for days. Off topic for days. Anyway, <laughs> um, I'll, I'll go through some tweets. A lot of people um, talk about redstone lamps. Uh, okay, uh, thank you, amazing gamers. Again, guys, if you want to tweet us, um, e ECG Podcast. And if you want to ask a specific question for a specific member of the podcast, uh, me, uh, Acidic Blitz, or the Gaming Lemon, uh, you can also put their name in if you want them to specifically talk about that. Um, Matcraft in HD. Joe Biden, Joe Biden, Joe Biden, Joe Biden, Joe Biden. West Side is amazing. Hello, hi. How's it going? Great tweet. Awesome. Thanks. That was a fantastic tweet. I know, right? I don't know why you spam Joe Biden. Um, <laughs> Redstone lamps. I've actually, I'm actually building, I'm, I'm working on a tutorial. I'm not trying to get off the topic of what I'm maybe, doing. Maybe, um, but. maybe we should like explain what it is, because some people, some people only play Minecraft on the Xbox, so they wouldn't have any idea what like, any stuff on the PC sure. is. Like a redstone lamp. Um, it, redstone lamp. It, it, I guess its main purpose is lighting. Um, and that's what most most people use for it. Um, with any type of redstone signal, either a torch, uh, get, like a torch giving any redstone thing a um, a signal, uh, redstone going into the block that it is, redstone going into a block that's below it, or a redstone block being powered that's next to it, and any six sides of it uh, will give it a, a thing. Um, and it just it it's either it's either an off state or on state. Off state it obviously is. Uh, not glowing, it has no um, illuminance. Illum I'm saying the wrong word there. But um, and then when it's on, it has pretty much as much lighting power as glowstone. I think. I, yeah, I mean, it's the most simplistic bright. way to say it is, is glowstone that's powered by redstone. Yeah, it, it, most people just use it as a lamp or whatever they like to, um, or like obviously, and it'll obviously be, be used in like buildings and type of stuff or lights. As of right now, most people when they want an on-off switch for lighting. They use like glowstone and they got to retract pistons and put it in there and then put it out and to turn it off. And this, you literally can wire it to flip a switch, lights are on, flip a switch, lights are off, and it really, it's, you're dealing with one redstone signal. So it, it's really a simplistic way for lighting um, and things like that. Or like, um, I don't know, I, yeah, I guess I don't really want to get too complicated with it. It's it's a, uh, it's a lamp. Be it, it's why it's called redstone it's lamp. Just, it's just glowstone, <laughs> but like, you yeah. can act you can activate it through redstone for it to be on or off. So it's like lights. Yeah, to be honest, yeah. I don't even know the recipe for it. Uh, it's um, glowstone in the middle with redstone above it to the left, right, and below it. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> I don't know why I know that. Shows how much I know. Um, <laughs> um, we're going to get so much flack for this next question. Uh, True Stick Plays, MC, ECG Podcast. When do each of you think the new and upcoming TU update is coming out? Tomorrow. <laughs> No? Okay, well, either way. Uh, I, <laughs> I'd probably say, like, Ju end of July, probably. Yeah, I was thinking July, I. too. I was it thinking... seems like they've already made the features for, from the screenshot, so... Yeah, I, um... It's just that it was a far ways to go, though. Yeah, they, they did say a far ways to go, but you never really know with 4J. They are known to... <laughs> troll us. <laughs> troll -lol -lol. Um... I, I would See you tomorrow. See, I, serious. I would say I would definitely say July, especially, especially when if they say they're a long way away, that usually means they're at least two, three weeks away from even telling us that they're gonna send it to Microsoft for cert testing. Yeah, so that's on the week right July there. July so. is a pretty good thing, but then it also depends on how much they really are adding. I I don't know. We said they said to add everything up to 1.2.3. With a couple. So features. that's like uh, jungles, ocelots. Well, yeah. they've already added them. Yeah, so I mean that's like the biggest stuff. Yeah, I saw. I saw. Um, I want to credit the right person. I saw. Uh, I think it was the Frog Squad did this video a long time ago. I think it was like it was a very popular video for him, where he showed the files inside Minecraft that was already there. And yeah, I saw that. Yeah, they've already got textures for the ocelots and stuff like that in there. They've yeah. already got the textures for iron golems. It's already in the game. So a I, lot of games do that to get ready for the future updates. Yeah. So I know Call of Duty does that a lot. Mm-hmm. They do do that. So. I, <laughs> I guess it wouldn't be too update. I guess I guess the wild card there would be what um, quote unquote future updates are they going to sneak in there? No, yeah. Mm. Which that could be a topic. What do you not not what do you think? Maybe what would you like to see if if you had to pick a feature um, post post 1.2 update? But let's not get let's not get too far ahead of ourselves and say something that was just in a snapshot. Uh, what, no. what do you think? What would you like to see put in this update that you think would be realistic? Um, I don't have much. Uh, uh, I don't have any many favorite features from the PC I'd like to see, apart from horses. But like, that's probably a bit too far fetched. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> that's not even an A update for Minecraft. 
I'd Although, probably just say texture packs, even though that's not a feature in the title update, but... Dude, I keep feeling like... I, yeah, I really want them. I feel like we're close, and then it's like, then they don't say anything about it. But they've apparently... <laughs> yeah, they always seem to every on, night. Yeah, they, yeah, apparently they're working on it forever. Like, and then they do something, like, really... Like, like remember, they? I think they retweeted somebody saying, oh, I'd love to see this yeah. texture pack. And they yeah, retweeted they it. Like, why would you retweet that? And like, you're stir us up. It. It's like they're just reminding us again. Remember, we're still working on them. We just, yeah. <laughs> just haven't got there yet. Like, dangle it in front of our And it was Doku Craft, too, which is... Yeah. That'd be nice. Doku Craft is nice. It is. Um, It'll make Minecraft so much more fun to play just because, I mean, new textures. I know, and it... Uh, and, some textures, I'm not saying these extreme textures would they put in the game. Some textures, like pure beady craft, it looks like a completely and it totally plays like a completely different game almost. Like you, you, I, I thought when I used it, I think I used it for a couple episodes, maybe on Skygrid or something. I don't know, but I used it and I tried it out and I felt like it was just I wasn't even playing Minecraft. I was playing something else, but I really, really liked it. Like I liked Minecraft more than it looked like this, but <laughs> yeah. Um, so, so Brad wants texture packs. What do you want, Justin? I mean, if I'm just going to 1.2.1, because obviously 0.3 is a bug fix or whatever, but, I mean, I don't even know. Iron Golems? <laughs> no, no, I'm, talk, I'm talking I'm talking. future updates. If you had, if you could bring in, like, a, one thing or this uh, something from an even future update into this oh, and tw- title. Oh, okay. Wait, is that uh, in, that's in 1.4? I'm not oh. sure, but I want anvils. <laughs> uh, I'd want a rip books that you could write in. That'd be oh, great for yeah. bench maps. Oh, God, that would be so. That would be, that'd that'd be would amazing. Be, that would be so helpful. If ever we... since, um, sorry, ever since I was in the snapshot, I just instantly knew I really wanted down Xbox. I knew it was going to take ages though, but we could get down C12 with all we know. Mm-hmm. Uh, you, yeah. Um, if if most people don't kn- don't know though, I will say though. Um. I wanted to grab this screenshot. Maybe this is it. Um, excuse me if this takes up your whole screen really quick. It's my bad. Here, there's a the screenshot we're talking about. I figured I'd show them the screenshot since we're talking about it. Um, um, at, at Minecon 2012, this one dude, the the the, the pudgy guy with the glasses. <laughs> um, I don't I don't know any of their names anyway. Um, he he said that he was talking about some stuff that, you know, like, I think they talked about how 4J might go in their kind of their own direction and add some stuff yeah. that they want to add. Obviously, uh, they, they tweak some stuff with the end that's totally only Xbox. But, and then there, there'd be stuff that they just would never add. And his example that he used were written books. He says it doesn't make it doesn't make a lot of sense to add a written book when most people need a keyboard to do that. And then people were like, well, you have those keypads that you have for the controller. And then he's like, but then we then we put that in the game and expect people to have another accessory to play Minecraft. Which didn't make sense to me. Either you have the ability or you don't. And you just miss out if you don't. Oh, well. But it was just weird that he used that as an excuse or like an ex- example of what they would never put in the game. I disagree with like um, them not putting books in the game because it's not like that they're they're forcing you to buy a keypad. It's I mean it's there if you want to use it, and if if you don't want to use it, then don't use it. It's like it's yeah. not something that's compulsory in the game or something. Mm-hmm. Completely agree. Yeah, plus, I mean, with the new Xbox One, everything's going to be like so fast and so quick. I mean, you could type and just using your D-pad really fast, anyways. Mm-hmm. Unlike now, where it takes ages. Or you could speak into it with the new Connect. Oh yeah, so <laughs> Xbox, type a book. Thank you. Dude, wouldn't that be <laughs> something? Xbox One, X, uh, Minecraft on Xbox One, and you're just playing Minecraft, and you're just telling Steve, like, Steve, written book. Go find diamonds. <laughs> or, yeah, or like, Steve, diamond sword, he just switches to it. Or something like that. Steve, map. Steve, play Skyblock. <laughs> just watch the eye play Skyblock. That would be hilarious. That would be so cool. That would be amazing. I, but then, I, <laughs> the joke on Twitter was, uh, when they were announcing that, was like, you know, you do Xbox on and you're playing a game and then someone runs into the room and just yells Xbox <laughs> off. Yeah. I would imagine that wouldn't work most of the time because they're supposed to do voice recognition and yeah. face yeah. recognition and they would tell where the sound was coming from. But, I don't know, that was just funny. I think sure now would be a good time to um, start practicing impersonating other, other friends' voices. Yeah. <laughs> so when you get that voice perfect, then... <laughs> I'll, I'll that would you, what? You can do a voice of me? No. Okay. No, try it. Except for that one trials video where I did you on, I don't know, you just sort through. When did you do me? 
Oh, <laughs> uh, you know. <laughs> we're getting off. So okay. many tangents. We're okay. probably talking about the Xbox One now since we're kind of already on that subject. I guess, I guess we could. Um, uh, well, the PS4, you know, I don't know anything about that, but still. Okay, I mean, um, really quick, Xbox GT Ice Snipes 4... Good, good name on Twitter. Um, ECG Podcast uh, would like to ask a question of the Gaming Lemon. Uh, the Gaming Lemon, do you like lemons? I do like lemons. Okay. Um, although, I don't eat them often. <laughs> okay. Um, good to know. Good to know. Then someone said, play Search and Destroy. I want to get with you, which is just Ooh. a little weird, but okay. Ooh, thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. All we, all we play now is S&D, just so he knows. Dude. Pretty much. I love S&D. It's so awesome. Um, Get them clutches. Oh, before that, really quick, uh, what I would want to see, since I don't want to exclude myself. Um, uh, you took my thing when I said an- when you said anvils. Um, huh. Oh. Right. Um, but really quick, before I do that, because I keep getting up and I keep wanting to do that. Um, Big B Statch tweeted the ECG podcast. I love you guys. Heart, no homo. So we thanks. love you too. I love you too, Anthony. <laughs> um, which we're gonna have you on. We're gonna have to have you on here one time, Anthony. Um, but anyway, uh, before I say um for the fourteenth time, um, <laughs> <laughs> say it so much. I, I, I took a I took a speech class and, and okay tangent tangent yeah, same, tangent so tangent. Um, what I would like to see. Um, I want to see the um because I'm a fan of uh, uh blah, 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 Redstone uh daylight the daylight detectors. Oh, yeah. I'd love to see daylight detectors, and with oh, yeah. that, because I, I, I built a lot of lamps on my server, I want, um, since I'm just going to name some stuff up, I want to condense, give us a, two more condensing things, which that's one thing in a snapshot, which I think could probably be possible, even though that's totally in the future. Give me blocks so I can c- condense coal and redstone. Give me the redstone blocks and the coal blocks. I think that's something that oh, I, I that. think would be totally doable. Uh, Minecraft just got it in a snapshot, the coal block, which you think they would have had that, like, a year ago. Mm-hmm. So, coal blocks and redstone blocks just mainly just for condensing because those are those are like two of the main things which you just get massive amounts of. And um I don't know, that'd be cool. And, and so anyway, yeah, daylight daylight um detectors. What was that um that new that new thing added to the PC? Is that all that you could get in a Nether? What was that? Quartz. Was, that was quartz. it. Yeah. I, I thought a block of that looked really cool. I it looked like it looked like um iron uh, the the iron block but less harmful on the eyes. And then when you when you when you craft it into solid blocks, it has different designs that you can do. I don't know how to make oh, the really? different designs. Yeah, it's got like uh, I think there's like three. You've got a solid quartz block, which is, um, it's like iron or it's like it's like straight up white. It's like a, it's really smooth. It's got no lines in it, no nothing. It's just straight. Then they've got one that kind of looks like a pillar. And then they've got one which has like these little curly designs in them. It looks really cool. Kind of like I bet a lot of people would use them for like Greek architecture. Oh yeah. Yeah, it looks really really cool. I think you can make stairs out of them too. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can. That'd be cool. So, that's that. Um, that is that. Did you just tweet, Justin? I did. Okay, I was about to say I saw you tweet. I just you know trying to people on my mentions. There you go. Um, one more, one more. Uh, we'll take one more question. Um. Uh, for uh, Minecraft T12. Um, before we go on to the next one, uh, ECG podcast from Alicia. Uh, do you think they will ever make it easier to download maps from other people? No. No. I don't think so. I think so. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think so. I'm not too sure. Um, I think that seems a little um, too. How to say? I want to. I want to say unofficial, but I don't think that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, I like it. Like, I feel like. When you download, ex- extract a file from your Xbox or your thing, and then you upload it to the site, and you, I half feel like I'm doing something I shouldn't be doing. Using whenever you use Horizon, I feel like I'm doing something yeah. I shouldn't be. Yeah. I mean, you're using a third-party program to put something else into the game. Yeah. So that's so. Thank you for saying what I was failing to say. <laughs> um, so like, I feel I I, I don't know. I, I'm not a programmer, so I don't know if this actually easy, but it seems like. Maybe maybe if it was if they do take Minecraft on the Xbox One, which I assume I'm gonna assume for this thing, um, that that would just be a thing where you have this whole separate section to upload maps to it. Maybe they even need approval. Maybe it'll take a couple days to get approval. I don't know. But you just, there's a separate place where you can just click upload on your file save, and anyone else can download it. Yeah. I, I just think that'd be a very secure thing if they actually just built that into the game. 
Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong, I would like them to. I just don't necessarily see it happening. It'd be amazing, though. Okay. Really be awesome. I'd love it, because obviously I like playing maps. Okay. All right, well, let me take the... Uh snapshot off there. You guys can keep watching gameplay. Again, uh, the gameplay you're watching, uh, this is a bunch of Minecraft mini games, Hunger Games, Spleef, uh, Super Smash Bros. and play a little bit, and there's even some Call of Duty mixed in there. Okay, so... Um, Super Craft Bros, by the way. Super, super, oh, so, oh, sorry, okay. my, my phone kind of went weird there for a sec. Oh, okay. Well, no, okay. You, you, you sound fine. No, I mean, uh, oh. it, it suddenly just stopped working. I had to plug it and put it back in. Okay. okay. Ah. Um... Tom just said, just dropping by to say hi, nipples, that's all. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Wrapping it <laughs> okay. up. Um, really quick, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll plug the sponsor really quick. If you guys see in the upper left... If you see, okay, <laughs> here, then you do it. You do it. I'm tired of talking. Well, no, just, okay, fine. Well, in the upper left corner, you obviously see Lime Hosting. That is a Minecraft server site where you guys can you know, buy servers from. They're very, very cheap. And you can get 20% off all servers by using the code ECG. And, of course, this is also all spon- or not powered. Okay, I'm failing here. It is powered by Elgato Gaming, which, in my opinion, is the best game capture out there for HD, you know, capturing of games. And I will link, again, in the description, I keep meaning to update it, I'll link Justin's review of the Elgato in the description. I always forget to do that. Um, and again, um, you can go follow all three of us on Twitter. I am uh, Taz. I am at LegendXTaz. You've got Justin or Acidic Blitz. You can follow him at Acidic Gamers. And Brad, the Gaming Lemon, follow him on Twitter at the Gaming Lemon. Pretty... His is pretty simple. Mine's a little weird since mine. It's, Justin, we have the worst branding in Minecraft. I don't even go into <laughs> mine. It's it's too much. <laughs> I, I want to go through with it. Okay, so you've got... So Justin, if you guys don't know, uh, is, oh <laughs> is known as Blitz or Acidic Blitz, whose channel name is Super Saiyan Gamers and whose Twitter is Acidic Gamers. <laughs> so his Twitter meets in the middle of his channel name and his actual name. Which I'm is... getting the channel URL fit. It's okay. Don't oh, worry. Okay, you do that. Um, I'm, although, I'm, I might not make sense to some people, but you'll find out. I guess I'm not perfect because my channel name's Taz Reese, and my I go by Legend X Taz. I, I really just go by Taz, but whatever. I think like mine's Taz. a little worse because uh, my gamer tag is Gaming Lemon, but my YouTube is the Gaming Lemon, so... That's that's quite bad. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Um, that was a ju- oh, that, that that was yeah. being that was yes. being sarcastic. I, I, I understood. <laughs> I understood. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. Wait. Hold on. I want to scroll down to this real quick, just because I like when people ask questions. Um. From Scott Davis and ECG podcast. Who is the best? Um. Okay. He's got three things. Who's the best Call of Duty player? Who's, who's the best Minecraft player? <laughs> and. Who's the best FIFA player? I'm pretty sure we're just gonna give that to Brad. And he yeah, said, no, he said, he mind. said, Lemonators F, he said, Lemonators FC, FTW. There you go. <laughs> I, th- I, think, I like I the think hope Justin, that I'm the best here at Call Justin's of Duty. Justin's the best at Call of Duty. Um, I've seen Brad play Call of Duty. It's not something to tip your hat at. <laughs> I'm not uh, terrible, but I'm not the <laughs> best player in the world. Okay. <laughs> um, Minecrafter, it's it's hard to be the best Minecrafter. So I mean, Minecraft's a pretty simple game. Pretty you can't really simple. be that great. It depends at on it. what you're talking about. It's the best builder, the best PvPer, um, are the best survivalist. So it's really hard to say that. Um, so I'll just say me. So I'm a boss. Oh, that's nice. Okay, well, so I, I, I gotta have something because I mean, yeah, Brad, well, Brad, well, Brad's well, the best FIFA player. <laughs> Brad's the best FIFA player. So. Who's the best Battlefield player? Not me. Me. I've never seen Brad play Battlefield. I play on a PC quite a lot. Well, I've, I've stopped now because I've gotten into um, some other games, but uh, I, I always play TDM on that instead of the, the game where you're supposed to play like Conquest and stuff. Oh. I, I, uh, okay. I, I, really played, play I play multiplayer, but I haven't played in a while. I saw it a long time ago, so... Brad, what's your favorite color? Yellow. Okay. <laughs> okay. Why? I, someone asked. I don't know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, um, moving on. Um, let's continue with uh, a new topic. Uh, I guess we'll just kind of move to um, uh, next gen in general. What do you uh, want your tweet deck? What I, you oh, just I scrolled it down. Yeah, I scrolled it down so I could go back to uh, the tweet that I was actually talking about. I, oh. sc- I scrolled it back up. It's, it's, oh, I see now. it's doing live feeds. Oh, like, yeah, gotcha. like Adam's on there right now. ECG podcast from MCXBLA News. My username is MCXBLA News on everything except Instagram, which is official on the end. Um, so, yeah, you've got your branding down, except for the fact that when you want to play different games, yo fucked! But, <laughs> I'm just kidding, Adam. <laughs> um, okay, um, next gen, yeah? Feelings, yeah. thoughts? Mm-hmm. What do you want to see? What are you uh, excited, disappointed? 
amused. I, I want to see the both the new consoles in my house. I am disappointed with Xbox. Uh, the the fact that both consoles are kind of um, making you pay money or fee to play used games now, and um, the fact that they're really trying to make the most out of um, the you know the money they're getting. I yeah. that sucks. It, I I understand why they're doing it. One because they I, I hear I hear a lot that Xbox sells the 360 at a loss. They don't make money on the console at all. Yeah. Um. So I I understand them trying to get more money for it, but that just seems like the wrong way to go about it. I mean I don't know if they're just trying to put GameStop out of business for some reason, or I don't I don't know what's happening with that. Um, no. Well, I'm at this point with the Xbox One as well. I so far I'm looking, the uh, I'm favoring the PS4 a little bit more, um, but I'm not saying like oh the PS4 is the best console, all mm-hmm. that stuff. But um, from what I've heard so far, I'm probably looking more favorable at the PS4. Um, I don't know if this is confirmed. I don't. I don't think it is anyway. Um, is is PS4 gonna start charging for, uh, to be online? Like how we have Xbox um, Live. Are they going to well, have a similar thing where you have to actually pay to be online? I haven't said anything about it. Neither is Xbox, uh, the Xbox One. But we can only assume they're going to continue what they're doing. Like the PS, the PS4 probably won't because the PS4 free doesn't charge anything, and the Xbox does. So I assume they are. But yeah, that's honestly, yeah. nothing's confirmed yet. Yeah. Well, we we all love unconfirmed stuff. Um, <laughs> new top. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I. Uh, I, I almost feel like I have my uh, Xbox fan fanboy pants on. I th- I thought I don't know I don't know if I guess have an older mentality of it. I don't know. Um, I thought the Xbox One was so cool. I saw that thing and I was like, wow. I thought I thought the features in it were cool. Although I do understand that most people that tuned in to watch that reveal are gamers and they didn't care one bit. I I, under- yeah. I understand that they care how good does it play my game, which they only showed what. They showed two games, and then they showed EA's new server. Um, so, I don't, I thought it was cool. I thought this stuff was cool to look at. Although, even though I thought it was cool, I probably won't even use those features. I, if I only get one Xbox One, it's going to be in my office. I'm not watching TV up here. <laughs> so, hmm. I don't. I use my TV for watching TV. Um, <laughs> I don't understand uh, why you like pay subscriptions to pay for more subscriptions. Yeah, I, I don't even watch TV, so I mean. No, neither do I. I just play Xbox. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I watch DVDs. I have like 500 DVDs in my room, so. Uh, no, we got that Direct TV. Although, although. Direct. Direct TV. Um, <laughs> although it, it, they're like they showed you know Xbox, you can watch TVs and stuff like that. It's gonna be who they want you to watch cable through or TV through. Like they showed yeah. like Comcast as their company that they were watching TV through. Like you wouldn't be able to do that if you had Direct TV or Dish or probably I would assume that so it's that's I, I bet I bet someone got a big old fat sponsorship check to be the exclusive rights company that can only have their TV work with those I don't know but anyway I, I thought it was cool I'm gonna buy it even if it's the you know lesser of I mean it's the worst I'm gonna buy it anyways because I want an Xbox I don't think, yeah I'm still gonna buy it I don't think it's um, the worst I don't I don't I don't think it is either but I mean I'm gonna buy whatever console my friends have. I'm gonna buy whatever console you know. As Minecraft's on, yeah, too. So. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna agree with Justin saying I'm just gonna buy whatever my friends get. Yeah, and I mean, obviously, I play my games to play with friends. Yes, well, I like most of my them. most of my friends have switched to PC gaming now, so uh, I might not even have to buy a console unless I need. <laughs> well, well, what about um? Since it still goes with the next gen thing, um, and I haven't seen too much lately on it. What about the Steam box? If you, oh, yeah. Do you know about that? I have, like, kind of. Yeah, I, I, I just picture it as just a PC, but in your living room. That's it, what it I. It basically prefer. is. It's 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 a PC that you kind of buy as a console, but it's. But it's a PC, pretty much. It's pretty much yeah. a a PC. I don't. It's a PC, but class as a console. Yeah, but then I haven't seen yes. any specs on it, and wouldn't it be funny if the Xbox One had better quiet. specs? <laughs> It'd just be funny, just because. Steam I is... I heard you can upgrade the. Um, yeah, the Steam Box. Like your uh, that specs that, that would make sense. Like the Steam yeah, Box, well. if it's gonna play like a PC, it would totally be. I wonder if they would allowed it to be kind of like modified and upgraded to however people wanted to do so. 
That kind of makes sense. And that and 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 if it's the same price range, although I've heard the Steam Box will be more expensive, that'd be something that might drive people away from either PS4 or Xbox and go to the Steam Box. Because I, I saw a price tag on the Xbox One today, although I don't know how true that is. What yeah, is that? Five ninety nine euro. Oh, I saw one that said six hundred pounds, and that was on Amazon. Um, yeah, okay, that that's the one I saw then. I don't, I don't, I'm sorry, right. I, I don't know what's the difference between pounds and euro. I don't. Neither do I. I'm, I don't. Well, pound, um, pounds is in the UK, but euro, euro, dad, euro is in some e Europe countries, okay. um, <laughs> just not in England. Why is it not all over? I thought they created the euro so it would be all over Europe. Are you guys yeah, just a rebel? Um, well, you're, ti- like, you're tired uh, of being the, a big country, and now you want thing, to be the rebel. Um, there's this thing called like the EU, and that's like some trading thing in Europe where um, if you're part of the EU, which is most of the countries in Europe, then you can like trade with each other like fairly well. And they also created the euro, so there's there's no like currency switching, so it makes it easier for trading. I learned this in business studies, but the UK for some whatever reason just went no, we'll make we're keeping our own currency because we're we're better than you or whatever. Mm-hmm. That, they've Dropping had, that knowledge in this they've podcast. had that. They've had that. Um, that mentality for quite some time now. <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna look into that. I like but my dollars. Your dollars, bro. Dollars <laughs> for days. <laughs> I just use cards for days. Um, so it's weird. You just jump off the map. But um, yeah, I uh, I failed in that one. I was final two though. Anyway, Brad doesn't know what we're talking about. The gameplay of that we're talking about. Anyway, yeah. um. Uh, back uh, what were we talking about Steambox or yeah. next gen okay. well, I think we just finished Steambox okay. so, so say um, so I guess we were under the impression so say all three come out they're generally I guess they're generally the same maybe the Steambox is better graphical wise which we would all assume and I'm sure that it'll be the price will be hiked a little um, if all three are pretty relatively the same and relatively close to price which ones do you go for and we kind of assume, are we going Ooh. with whatever the friends are at? Um, if if there was no factor of doubt, I would go with whatever one had better exclusives, or we, if Minecraft would come out on the Xbox One. Yeah. And PS3, PS, the PlayStation, in my opinion, has better exclusives. I mean, Gears of War and Halo is pretty much dead now. Yes. In my opinion. Yeah. Although they're probably going to get a hate for that. Apparently, Xbox One is getting a bunch of exclusives. Yeah, apparently they're supposed to be getting like eight new oh, franchises. Yeah. Which, yeah, I forgot which, about that. Um, which E3 is coming right up around the corner. Which it's pretty close. Yeah, if you guys, um, if E3 is your, if E3 is your cup of tea. Um, by the way, time out. If you guys look at the podcast right now, you look to the <laughs> tweet to your left. That is Jeff Lukens uh, at Jeff Lukens. He is the guy that created this, uh, the layout. The ECG graphics. Make sure you guys go follow him on Twitter and give his channel a subscribe because we're actually featured on there a lot, me and Justin. Anyway, um, go trials back for days. Trials for days. Um, what was I talking about? God, I suck I at this. Something. <laughs> <laughs> we get too many tangents. I know, right? I I just wanted to shout Jeff out, but <laughs> um, yeah, I totally forgot what I was talking about. Oh well, someone else talk. I don't know. Talk and answer more questions. Send us more questions. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, uh, we'll have to talk for a minute until the tweets actually start rolling. Um, ask us That's questions. So. If uh, Tweet the show using hashtag ECG Podcast. You can see them rolling through on the left-hand side. And as Call of Duty gameplay plays on your right, uh, tweet us a question if you have a question or you want us to give our opinions on a specific part that we haven't already talked about. Xbox One, PS4, Next Gen in general, uh, graphics, Minecraft on the Next Gen. I don't care. Uh, any tweets and any questions are welcome. Even if you have a first specific person, put their name in the tweet, and we'll do our best to uh, um, answer those. Um, and if you guys are enjoying, make sure you guys leave a like rating. Let's shoot for a billion likes. Billion likes? Can we do it? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't even have to have a billion people on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> we'll smosh uh, at 10 million subscribers. Jesus, that's so many. Um, <laughs> yeah. Someone wants me to say moose. There you go. I said moose. I don't know. Some people are weird. Um... I, I saw that tweet like five times. You did? Oh, uh, I just tweeted it like five times. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess we can kind of... St- oh, in regards to Minecraft on the Xbox One, since it kind of encompasses both of our titles, how do they how do they move it over? Is it, a, is it a whole new game, or are they just taking the game they have and completely updating it? How far is it updated? What do you think? Like, uh, and, and, and assuming that it's even going to be on the Xbox One. I mean, it will be um, coded in the same. I'm pretty sure on the Xbox, isn't it coded in C++ or C-sharp? 
One of them's for PC, one's for Xbox, I forget. I don't know. Some people have yeah, this, just, some people have this notion that it's literally going to be the same coding as PC and all they have to do is click a button and they'll port it over. I don't think it'll be the same as PC. No. I'm pretty sure it'll probably be the same as Xbox and they can just transfer it over with the same update we have now. I think Xbox is C++. I don't know. I really don't. Uh, I'm not 100% on that one, though. But, but where do you think it'll be at? I guess it's looking more into the future as where even Xbox 360 would be at that point with updates, but... Like, how, do you think it's caught up with PC? Do you think it's still a little bit behind? Do you think it's doing its own thing? I don't... What do you think? What do you think? What do you think, Brad? Yeah, I was about to ask Brad, so... King I Minecrafter. Think, I, th- <laughs> I think it's catching up massively um, to, the, um, to the PC. A lot of people, when it first came out, was in 1.6. They were going, oh, it's, it's never going to catch up to PC. PCs are going to be so much faster. But actually, it's um, been doing pretty well. I mean, it started adding a few stuff from PC currently. I mean, in the previous update, what was it? Is that never brick that they added? Yep. No one really, no one really took note on that. But that was um, added in a snapshot. That was like a week ago before they announced it. Mm-hmm. So that was something that was yep. just added. So that, they're, they're obviously trying to catch up with PC really hard. That's why I'm hoping that they put those condensed coal blocks in there. Um, yeah. But I mean, yeah. Four I, days doing work. I think as far as like like we know how like T12 is kind of mirroring off 1.2 update. Uh, that came out for PC 11 months ago, or 11, 10 months ago, or something like that. And obviously, a year ago, we were like two years behind, or through two, three years behind Minecraft. So we've obviously started to catch up, and if you guys know, another snapshot came out recently for uh, Minecraft, uh, which just, it was, a lot of it was bugs and stuff, but b- besides horses is this main thing, they're not really, not a lot's being updated. Not a lot's being added to the game. I, I don't know if maybe that's just because they had to deal with a lot of stuff, but I don't know. I feel that's leaving this room for Minecraft Xbox to really start catching up, especially since they already know what they're going to be dealing with. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so one thing I just want to... Uh, I've seen this tweet like three times now, so from at Steve 2013 he's asking pretty much you, Taz, because you're obviously hosting it, but what software do you use for this podcast? Um, I am streaming via XSplit. Uh, game capture is uh, uh, Xbox 360 games are captured via the Elgato, and PC gameplay is captured via DX Tori. The tweets are scrolling through TweetDeck, and again, we are I have all this put together using XSplit, streaming live to YouTube. So there you go. That's what I'm using. There you go. Um, what uh, someone I don't know if this is an answerable one. Uh, what are some Minecraft Xbox exclusives that you think should be added? So I'm guessing brand new stuff to Minecraft that isn't even on PC. Is there is there things that you guys think should be added to the game that you've never even seen on PC? That's unicorns. <laughs> unicorns? Yeah. Think, yeah. yeah. If they're going to add horses, might as well just pop a horn on one. and. Yeah, why not? Do they, they should make it where... Um, there's no benefits to unicorns, but there's like a one in a thousand chance of a horse spawning. There'll be a unicorn. It'll just be a horse with a with a freaking uh, like a what do you call him horn? Yeah, horn. Like okay. Okay. I, I want. That. Is it rainbow colored? Is it? I mean, <laughs> what are we talking here? What's it can it? fly. That's not a oh, unicorn. Sure. Unicorns can't fly. That's a Pegasus. You're talking oh. Pegasus. Well, then you gotta drop <laughs> the horn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, now we're gonna have Pegasus. Pegasus. We're gonna have like. Um, like a centaur, where it's half human, half horse, and they can fly. <laughs> Going crazy. No, they can't fly. They're, 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 they just walk. They, they just I want fun. the feature I made a video on. That's what I want. That's uh, my little idea. Which That's my MPC. was... What was it? A random it. in-game adventure that can happen when you're playing. Oh, you mean when you Ooh. load up a, when you load up a seed, uh, you just pick a random seed that has like well, you said like a one in fifty it's a, chance. Yeah, one in fifty chance. Of it you can watch the video. He'll look in the description. It like it like literally just starts an adventure for you with storyline. Yeah, like when you spawn in next to like where a bonus chest would be, a sign would be there saying something along those lines, and then you'd find like an NPC village. It's all explained in the video. Go I check think it out. one thing that would be cool uh, would be like random disasters. Like uh, earthquakes or like tidal waves, oh, yeah. they just spread through your whole world. That'd be weird. I That'd be awesome. Blood. I saw a uh, I saw a tornado mod once before. That was. Wouldn't it be just be cool for you just like ridiculous. yeah like farming and then you saw like this massive tidal wave coming towards you in the distance. That'd be awesome. <laughs> that would be cool. Like waves. I, I'm telling you. Yeah, they're like X- in your house. You know. I'm telling you. Awesome. Xbox One, you got that. You got all this graphical power. Take Minecraft to the yeah. next level. Put waves and stuff. Put wind. <laughs> put wind and stuff. If I've only got like a if I've only got like a dirt house. Blow that shit down. I don't care. Do so. 
<laughs> Throw a circle in there. Right? Wind, Crazy. waves, just natural disaster. That'd be so cool. Like yeah. a, a ravine pops up where it didn't used to be because of an earthquake. That That'd be even cooler. That would be pretty cool. Well, maybe, um, what was it? A drought. Right? Everything would oh. just uh, dry up. Um, and uh, hmm. all the leaves would fall off trees. Oh, no. Seasons. Ooh, Seasons. I would love that. Dude, th- th- it's, it's almost like we're making up like Sims DLC. Yeah. DLC 4J packs. hire us. <laughs> yeah, 4J just hire. Need, yeah. We're your thinking tank. And you're just we're like, right you've, got, <laughs> you've got Minecraft, the DLC, you know, Four Seasons. And you just download it now. Your Minecraft's got Four Seasons. I would pay so much for that. that when you be... say that, I think of the hotel. 4J, take my money. <laughs> Give me Seasons. <laughs> I want the Seasons. It'll be amazing. <laughs> I'm throwing my money at the screen, but nothing's happening. <laughs> um, That'd be awesome. They, they really need to do that, though. I'm actually, and now I'm excited for that. Thanks. Yeah, uh, see, now we need, now, <laughs> now I can never play Minecraft without being disappointed because they don't have seasons. <laughs> well, maybe. <laughs> what about like an option for real time, where if you hopped on at like four o'clock, it will be four o'clock in your time, and it would continue with that time. Um, like it a 24 cool. hour time. But it would never be dark. No, because then, if you, you know how much of a no life you have. Yeah, no, that's a stupid idea. Work. Never mind. No, it's stupid. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, mom, I have to stay up this late. I haven't seen a mob <laughs> for a week. Because I only play during the day. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder, what, what, what if you had like a, a day job and then you could only go on at night? <laughs> yeah, that would be like, like, I mean, hilarious. I though. can't play Minecraft. I give up. There's all these mobs every time I play. <laughs> Going peaceful. Right. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess. There you go. See? Um, solutions. Solutions made up. Um, what do you think they're going to add in Visible Potion? Come on. In Potions of Night Vision. Or Night Vision and... Well, it's, it's the same thing. It's, it's it's a Potion of Night Vision, which when it's corrupted is an Invisibility Potion. But when oh. when do you um, when do you think they'll add that? Now! Oh. I thought they were done with potions. I, I, I don't understand why they didn't add the other ones. They, but... need, they need carrots for that. Oh, oh yeah, I've oh, got back carrots and potatoes. Yep, carrots and potatoes. potatoes. Those would be cool. Is that something that could be in TU12? That seems like well, uh, like maybe a small update, like potatoes and carrots. Possibility. And they do like bringing things from future updates in, you know, yeah. to these new ones. Potatoes and, and carrots, potatoes. which then means carrots. And if you guys don't know, on PC, uh, pigs do not procreate with wheat. They procreate with carrots. And you can make golden carrots, which is the... Ingredient that you use for that night potion. Well, golden carrots for oh right. Yeah, yeah that that yeah that's what you use for the potion. Anyone know what golden carrots used to look like? Fully updated it? No. What do they look like? I don't want to say it. They look like a dill. Yeah. Dildo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, there you go. <laughs> look like it's a dildo. <laughs> it's been said on the podcast. Okay. We um, dropped everything on the pro- on the podcast. So I'm gonna call it the broadcast. Okay. Um, r- randomly, here's a um a uh, uh, question about COD, um, and I'll ask you, Justin, since you're more of the COD player. Um, what's your opinions on the uh, camo packs? What's your favorite? Dragon title is cool. They're all they're all animated. The titles and camos are animated. Um, the dragon camo is horrible. It looks ugly. Um, the PS3 people will have different voting, so they can vote next month for different camos if they don't want the dragon one. But the dragon title is really cool. Cyborg title is okay, and the cyborg camo is. It looks like a pack of punch camera from Out of the Dead. It, it like glows. So it's pretty it sweet. Looks you can sweet. save a mile away. I saw. Um, I was in a recording session with J Hub and he was using it, and it looks pretty freaking awesome. And they cost 160 Microsoft points. So, Activision, give me your money. Give me your money. Okay. Um, what else could we talk? Mood. I, I love talking about this future stuff we just ran. Aliens. We're still waiting on aliens, right? In TV. Oh, yeah. <laughs> is, is that you, Brad? You still waiting on those? I'm still waiting on them. Uh, I want I random think, alien abductions. Wouldn't it be cool if... Um, I don't know if any of you played Kerbal Space Program, have you? No, I dude, but, I um, laughed my head off when you were playing it. I saw it through my eyes. It looked really funny. You can go anywhere in the whole solar system. What would be cool if you could create... You, you had the option, it's like... You know, Minecraft, you, you have loads of these um, different options you can go and you can... Uh, there's like the mining aspect of the game, there's the building aspect of the game, and there's the adventure aspect of the game. There should be like a space aspect of the game as well. Where That'd you can, so cool. you, if you, the more resources you collect, the more further you can go. You can go to different planets, and like the furthest planet you can go to, there's actually intelligent life, and you can, they, I don't know, you can uh, live there if you want to. They can give you all this exclusive resources and stuff. I can imagine the moon just being made out of endstone. That's where the Ender Dragon is. Yeah. yeah. As you come cool. back to this, you know, forge a high us. Okay. Um, 
What about, uh, we'll talk bosses, uh, The Wither. What about, when do you think The Wither is going to be in there? I don't even know if people know much about The Wither. Oh, The Wither. I thought you said The Wither. No, The Wither. <laughs> no, the, the, uh, the mob, or the boss mob, yeah, The Wither. I think that'd be hilarious to try and fight. I definitely don't yeah. think it's going to be in 2.12. But yeah, yeah, yeah that'd maybe be the next one. Nice. That'd be totally that, that, cool. That, that promoted loads by now, like I did with the Ender Dragon. Yeah. I don't. I don't know if if someone can tweet me. When was the wither added into Minecraft? What for PC version? Obviously, I think it was 1.4, yeah, or maybe it was. It was right, I don't, I'm not too sure. Um, I see these forums randomly on the internet and stuff like that because Minecraft obviously keeps getting updated um, on on PC. And it's gonna it's gonna until we know anything. It's gonna keep getting updated. But uh, they had the Ender Dragon. That was their first big boss. Then they added uh, the wither. And mm -hmm. they added other little mobs like witches and stuff like that, which is, that's another topic. But, um, one would think they would add another boss mob eventually. In the nether. Um, maybe in the nether. John, yeah. tell me pigmen. <laughs> Jeremy on the end. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Failed. Um, but, uh, so what, what, what do you think could be a legitimate, or the next legitimate boss mob, possibly, that could be added to Minecraft PC and eventually Minecraft Xbox. Or maybe just Minecraft Xbox because they're beasts and want to go their own way. So are we like thinking of uh, our own mobs, uh, our own boss mobs now? Just just whatever, uh, like make up even if you imagine it or you think uh, it's... Bigfoot. Nice. Hmm. Bigfoot, you, know, Bigfoot, you find him in the jungle biomes. Um, the abominable snowman, you find him in the snow biome. Boom, right. That's two what bosses if? right there. You, dr update. you drank this, uh, you can make this really, really rare potion and uh, it attracts... Load it tracks a single like unload the the single boss mob and when you drank it, um you could just see this gigantic uh I don't know <laughs> so, some sort of monster <laughs> some, okay. some, some, like the, the sky goes black and then it starts raining and then you see this massive thing in the distance with white eyes glowing at it giant herobrine or something I don't know I'm How about thinking just, of some I'm thinking of a boss that would terrify you the How way about the way just that regular herobrine Herobrine's oh, not yeah. technically actually in the game. Wouldn't that be like the last update of Minecraft ever gives you the boss Herobrine and he can do everything you can do? Better. And he's such a smart AI. And he, he can have swords, he can have armor. It's, it'd be the be ultimate fancy. PvP, a Herobrine. I think that'd be the coolest thing ever. Actually having Herobrine legitimately in the game. Um, I, thought, I think back to when you thought you saw one in your world, Brad. I remember that, like... Yeah, that, Seven that months ago, when um, mm. that was funny. Oh, Arch, uh, someone on Twitter, Archie Miller, just said the wither was added in one point four. Oh, thank you. So, and yeah, we were kind of right. Yes. Um, when do you think they will stop updating the three sixty? Never. Uh. Hmm. I don't know, that's a tough one, actually. I don't know. I got. I don't really have an opinion on that. I think maybe when the PC decides to stop. Which I probably won't anytime soon. I would. I, th this is me assuming that it's going to continue to. Uh, this is me uh, thinking that Minecraft will go on the Xbox One, which is a legitimate assumption. Yeah. Um, I think it'll keep updating uh, at least a couple months afterwards. Because I, I would assume that, you know, when the Xbox One comes, not everyone can just buy one right then and there. So yeah. I think it's totally legitimate to think that. Minecraft on the Xbox 360 is still the main, mainly used game for Minecraft. So I think six months, maybe even up to a year, I think they'd still keep updating it. I think it's still a viable game to play. Why not keep updating it? Exactly. Uh, that's just my thing. Because I, I, uh, I couldn't stand when people were saying they just stop updating. There's no use for 4 <laughs> Studios anymore. Like, they're, like, there's no point for the company anymore. Like, no! Are you kidding me? No! There's... You're going to need to play... You think, like, a month before Xbox One comes out, you think Minecraft on Xbox 360 is just going to go away? Like, we still get new people playing to the day. And, like, Xbox One's going to be so expensive. Only um, people that make, um, you know, $100,000 like all YouTubers make. Oh, for days. For days, you know. <laughs> that's what that's what every YouTuber makes, $100,000. Don't let anyone lie to you. Yep. There's a question from Santiago at, you know, well, the ECG, it's all of us, pretty much. So if one mod could be added to Minecraft Xbox, what would you want it to be? Mod, you said? Yeah, mod. Okay, legit Obviously. mod, not what we've, we've been seeing. Yeah, um, yeah, like PC mod. Okay. I assume that's what he meant. Um, I don't know, I need time to think. Justin, do you know? I don't know, I gotta think. 
I don't really know that many mods on the PC, Brad. Um. Hmm. I, I, have, I have no clue. I never use mods on PC. Oh, I got one. What? Tell me. I think Divine RPG would be cool. What's that? Like Feed the Beast? No, Divine RPG. I don't, That's I what don't, Kevin Sparkles plays. I don't with the know. Nice oh, okay. It's got all those different dimensions, and when you go into Bethia, it's like starting a brand new thing, because so you have Man. to start with, with new stuff. That's, I think like, cool. that's like a completely different game. I'm talking like completely different released game, because it takes 4J long enough it's to a make mod. one update. It takes a long enough saying. to make one update. You think they're gonna take their time to make <laughs> Divine RPG, which is almost a completely different game? Um, it's like I don't know, like as much stuff as they're in Minecraft, there's like it's almost like a half of that more. So you're like adding fifty percent of the game. I don't know. Um, I'm just answering the question. Dude, you know, you know what mod I found the other day? The Lapis Lazul mod. I heard you tweet about that. Where you can make What's that? you can make blue pickle armor and tools. <laughs> 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 they're um they're faster than iron. But their durability is um, better than gold, but less than iron, and they're blue, and they're so awesome. And I don't know, that's just that's just me. I had I, I just I jumped and had squealed like a little girl when I found out there was a blue pickle mod. I think I'm gonna add it on Skygrid, but that's another tangent. I hope it's a lemon mod. I just realized that where you could eat lemons, just for the logs. There is, or you want there to be? I want there to be. Be I'll be right back. I'd make a gigantic lemon farm. I um uh, I'm thinking of the mods. Um the the mod I use on um uh duh, 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 on Skygrid there's a there's a backpack mod and that's what I use. I don't use too many mods. Oh yeah. Where it's that it's it's relatively nice it, and it's not that like it, I don't really think it's like too much cheating or whatever. It's just one back there's small small backpacks and big backpacks. The smaller backpacks uh hold as much as a regular chest does and the big backpacks hold as much as a double chest does. Um, but what it's do, do the like different backpacks do they slow you down depending on their size? Nope. It, would, it, it, do, it takes oh. it's, it's it doesn't. That's the one thing I thought was weird. I thought like if you equipped it, it should show on your character. You don't. It's it literally takes up an inventory space, and to open it, you just have to have it in your hot bar and you like right click it and you open it up. That's really it. It's really easy to use, um, but you can dye them any color, and and it introduces two new things. Uh, you take to make the big to make the small backpacks is really easy. It's a it's leather and a chest formation. But to make the big pack packs, you have to take you have to take leather, or you have to take string in an eye formation, and two leather makes what they call um, bound leather, and then you smelt that into tanned leather, and tanned leather, in a chest formation is a double backpack. It's really weird. I don't know. But anyway, that's the kind of mods I'd want. Sounds fancy. Anyway, um, uh, believe it or not, we just kind of snuck up on an hour right there. We did. And that was we quite did. fast. Um, Brad, do you have any, like, closing topics you'd want to touch on or closing remarks? Um, not that I know of, no. I'm, uh, scheduled, I'm scheduled for 6.10, so we can go over the time limit, so it doesn't really matter. Okay. Um, hmm. I don't know. Minecraft, man, we, I, we talked way more about Minecraft than I thought we would. It's because we got yeah, really more, more into the whole... Thing someone asked if I if uh, Minecraft will ever get stale. Every game gets stale eventually. Every game uh, yeah, I eventually will. will. Yeah. I I get in the moods where I can't play Minecraft. I'm just like, I'm like, ah, this just doesn't yeah. this just doesn't interest me right now. Today's it, one of those days for me. Yeah. If I'm gonna be honest, uh, I uh, I've lost interest in it because from the beginning I I was playing at 24/7. But uh, the thing is, when I play games, I only play games like non-stop for a month and switch to a different game. So I'm thinking because I've played this so much. Because I kind of have to, to make videos, I'm getting so so worn out on it. And no matter, and title updates don't really change that much for me. I think I just, uh, like, like need to take a break from it for a bit. I guess. Mhm. I um I think it's yeah I, it's it's something that it, it, it can get stale. I, there's there's so many different there's there's only so much there's only so many, so many different ways you can play it until it's the same. But uh, especially on Xbox, title like Brad said, title updates don't really change it like drastically each time maybe if you walked away from it for like six months and came back to it maybe then there's a lot of stuff you can learn and maybe learn on your own but um i don't know what's you know it's easy to keep up with with the update videos yeah hooray <laughs> but um even if it does it's it's stay i mean it'll take a while 
I mean, I've been playing Call of Duty since Mario for two. It's not staying with me yet. But it's technically a new game each time, even though you. That is true, though. You, you I used to love Call of Duty. Modern Warfare Two, I played religiously. Cause at oh one my, point was, was just. Was uh, that your first legitimate Call of Duty? Call, call? No, my my first ever COD was COD Four, and that was my first ever online game. So if it was my first ever online game, my first ever shooter that I ever played, um, you could. I, I just got addicted to it. So, you, I know so, Modern do you, Warfare 2 so hard. So you like Modern Warfare 2 over COD 4? No, COD 4, 4. COD 4 is my top game of all time. Okay, okay I was about to um, say, because most people yeah, who've played both say COD 4 is still the best. Yeah. Uh, I got I don't think 10 is. prestige on three different accounts on that game. I'm telling you. Going if, if you took everyone who played Black Ops 2 and just introduced them to COD 4, they'd think it was a shit game. Yeah. If the the, the reason... Board? Yeah, the reason. Just like Counter Strike. From, yeah, uh, from the Cod. reason that people like Brad, Brad, Brad likes COD Four. Mine is Modern Warfare Two. Why? Because that was my first COD. Modern Warfare Two Mine was too. my first COD. So therefore, I think it was the best because it was to me. It's it, it's something you just didn't have before. You didn't have this online place where you have these new matches constantly and you're like this FPS awesome guns and just it was so different and so revolutionary to what you used were probably used to playing. That's why it's your favorite COD, and you'll never get that feeling back. Yeah. I don't know if it was awesome. It, well, it, it was. Uh, yeah. And, I, I, said I, that I said that was the second best COD. It Despite was. all its bugs and glitches and overpowered stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. One man what army What do you think was too. the worst COD? What was your least favorite COD? I, um... I never played one, two, or three. Oh, yeah. From, from the ones that you played... Uh, yeah. I never really played World at War. I tried it a couple of times, and I, I thought that was bad, but I never really played it. So I guess I'd have to choose between Modern Warfare 2 and Beyond. I would say... Uh, I would have to go Black Ops. I would say bl Black Ops 1. Uh, Mine would be Modern Warfare 3. I wanted to say that, but I still had a really good time playing that. I no hated abs. it. <laughs> Moabs for days, bro. Specialist bonus. I was really, I was really good at Modern for three, which yeah. is why I like. I almost had like a three KD. So, so that's I like. Why I enjoyed it. Yeah. I think, I, I don't know. I think, I think Treyarch. I, I don't know. I know they want to be their own thing, but put a nuke in the game, bro. Make a yeah, DLC. I don't care. Give me that's a nuke. That's so fun. Give me a Going nuke. For the, Let me so have stupid. the power to end the game. Give me that. I don't power. want that. I want like a Moab. So well, you can, like, I, I prefer it when the game ends. I like that. Uh, you give me yeah, the power cool. to say no. This game ends in a minute forty because I'm just gonna go beast mode. I think what would be cool if, if, is if the environment actually destructed when you blew up the nuke because when you when you set up a nuke, everything's still standing. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> so really, ridiculous. well, you know, the next one is gonna have destructible. Um, well, it's I don't think it's one hundred percent confirmed, but it's pretty much. I think they kind of showed it in their teasers and stuff, but destructible. Houses kind of like a Battlefield 3 is. It's only gonna be a single player. We don't know anything yet about multiplayer though. Yeah, and I don't think we're not gonna see multiplayer for a while. I don't. I, we're not. Gonna, I don't. I'm. I don't think we're gonna see multiplayer at E3. I don't. I do not. Sorry. Uh, I think I th what they normally do is they show off like the, their best mission mm -hmm. um, at E3, don't they? I hope we see the new thing that's not Spec Ops. I'wanna know what that is. Oh yeah, I did, I did, I kind of I kind of forgot about that they have that. Um, yeah, I, I don't really know anyone who plays Spec Spec Ops that, <laughs> who just doesn't want the title that comes with that one mission. Like I played it when I was bored. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> now I play Trials and I'm I bored. never liked Spec Ops. Yeah, I didn't really care for them that much. Although the ones with the uh, the snowmobiles, that was a kind of fun. But yeah, I. But then again, I don't play the campaign either, so. I literally only play you the play multiplayer. nothing of Call of Duty. I play the multiplayer. I'm there to party hard, drop nukes and yeah. Moabs, and that's what I'm there for. I'm not there to play by myself. What How many nukes have you had? I always think the campaign's... None? Really Leave me there. alone! Dude, mm -hmm. I used to... I drop Moabs all the time in Modern Warfare 3 whenever I put on Specialist, and Same. I drop nukes constantly. I'll still go back to Modern Warfare 2 drop nukes, nukes constantly. Nukes are easy. I, I'm not saying I actually go for nuclears, but I can't get a nuclear in Black Ops 2. <laughs> I don't really go for it in, like... Because I, I just always rush mode, I guess. That's probably why. You I never want to go for it. Just right. when you start seeing, like, a 20 or 25, start playing a little more defensively. Yeah... I never see that I'm going for nuclear until I'm at 20 or 25, and then I end up getting it. Oh, I had eight, though. All right. Well, this is winding down. Um, Brad, what are you doing on your channel right um, now? 
I, I'm gonna well not much at the moment because of in the middle of these exams. This, I'm literally like slap bang in the middle. I think in the summer I'm planning to start up loads of new series which I'm not talking about yet because I don't want anyone to steal these ideas because no one else has done them yet. I, um, before, I, let me inter- interrupt you really quick. You are you are such a trendsetter. Okay, go. Trendsetter. You, you are. What you do, people do. But anyway. Really? Yeah. You just know that you have that power. Anyway, c- keep going. Plus, your videos are really good. Really high effort. Yes. If mm. we had more people like you in the community, we'd be in such a better place. Anyway, I'm sorry to interrupt you. <laughs> I don't have much else to say on that. I was just saying I'm <laughs> planning on like getting rid of the majority of Minecraft, um, <laughs> which that's probably going to set off a lot of people. <laughs> annoying. No, um, Lemon, why you do this? Start, I'm, I'm starting up loads and loads of different series um, on different games. Trials. Good. Yeah, trials. and trials. I was gonna do a trial series as well. Mm-hmm. But, um, Good. but I'm just getting annoyed of um all these not annoyed, what's the word? I I'm just getting really bored of Minecraft and if I get bored of a game and I don't like the game I won't do a video on it. Mm-hmm. No? I just do videos on what I enjoy. What well, about you guys? That's the way to do it, I, I guess. Is I, I guess I wish more people would do that too. Do what absolutely makes you more happy, not you what enjoy. you think will, you know, launch your YouTube career. Yeah, we all. But um what are you doing, Justin? Um, well, I just recently started Skyblock again, what? so that's pretty fun. Um, I'm still, you know, doing some Call of Duty stuff, because obviously, just like what you said, I, you know, I play what I like, so I've been doing some zombies, some zombie stuff, multiplayer stuff. Taz, you know, you're, you're there. I am there. I'm, I, and, I'm in every one of your videos. That's not true, but, um, <laughs> <laughs> some trials, just, you know, random games. Mainly Minecraft, of course. I am I am trying to get more into different games. Uh, I, 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 I was I'm just was doing mine, nonstop Minecraft for so long, and uh, and like and like we alluded to before, that'll make Minecraft stale. Not that it's you know stale to me. It's just that I want to play more games. I want to I want to have that new feeling. I, I sometimes I can't outplay Minecraft, so I'm playing Trials with Justin a lot and Jeff. Um, plus I'm about to play these this Worms Revolution. Uh, I love that game. Yeah, that game was so funny to play with friends. So fun to play yeah, with friends. I'm Sorry, to, I just want to say that. Yeah, it's fine. I'm about to start playing that. We'll try to record some of that. I'm playing Call of Duty more, which I like. And um, <laughs> yeah, just as excited about it because I'm on more times. And um, to be honest, even with Minecraft, uh, I'm starting to enjoy PC more. I'm, my 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 mind is opening more up to the PC side of it actually. Skygrid. Although, although yeah, Skygrid man for days. But I'm but I'm still obviously the faithful to the 360. But yeah, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. And that's what Brad's doing. <laughs> so, all right. Well, I guess that kind of wraps it up. That was an awesome show. Um, thank you to Brad, the Gaming Lemon, for coming on. Make sure you guys go. Um, his channel is linked in the description. Go make sure you guys go check out his channel if somehow you live under a rock and don't know him. Yeah, he's a very <laughs> unknown YouTuber. Uh, uh, make sure you guys go. And uh, follow him on Twitter at the Gaming Lemon. Uh, make sure you guys go check out Justin's channel, which uh, the ECG podcast will be live. Will be live next week on his channel. That's what we do. We rotate where it's live, and so it'll be live on his channel next. But it'll up, be uploaded to both our channels on demand after the fact. Um, and to follow him on at Acidic Gamers. Again, I am Legend X Taz. If you guys are new, subscribe here and follow me on Twitter at Legend X Taz. Again, subscribe to Justin and Brad. You guys got any closing remarks? Um, uh, I just want to say again, thanks for having me on the podcast. It was a lot of fun. It was I. It was fun having. Thanks for you. coming. Thanks this, for being this, here. This was such an awesome episode. I, I'm thrilled. No problem. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, Justin, anything? I didn't mean to cut you off. That's kind of what I was going to say. Just you know, thanks for Brad for coming on. Okay, awesome episode, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, hopefully uh, you guys favorite this. And uh, make sure you guys come back next week for the ECG podcast. And in the comments section, feel free to leave uh, feedback. We love feedback. We want to make sure that this podcast gets better and better. Give us your ideas, your feedback, and we'll definitely learn from them and uh, try to make it better and better. So hope you guys enjoyed. Um, my name is Taz. See you guys. Bye.